President Trump received an update today on the opioid crisis ravaging communities across the country. CBS News' Mola Lange has more from the White House. While on his working vacation in Bedminster, New Jersey, President Trump was briefed about the opioid crisis by Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price. Nobody is safe from this epidemic that threatens young and old, rich and poor, urban and rural communities. Everybody is threatened. President Trump promised when he was candidate Trump to help fix the growing nationwide opioid epidemic. A report from New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who chairs the president's opioid commission, says from 2000 to 2015, more than half a million people died of drug overdoses. A majority of those deaths were opioid related. The governor did not attend the meeting because he's currently vacationing overseas. I have never seen a drug that was this toxic and this dangerous and this available anywhere uh, in my in my entire career. Deborah Taylor has more than 40 years of experience treating addiction at Phoenix House, a nonprofit drug rehab center with 50 facilities nationwide. I don't know how you stop it when there is a demand, um, and there is a demand. The White House's approach to fixing the opioid problem extends beyond prevention and treatment to criminal prosecution. Attorney General Jeff Sessions recently announced the creation of the Opioid Fraud Abuse and Detection Unit that will use data analytics to find doctors who are overprescribing opioids for profit. First Lady Melania Trump, who attended the briefing, tweeted, Opioids are destroying our youth, people, and lent her support to hashtag stop drug addiction. Mola Lenghi for CBS News, the White House. Meanwhile, the Trump administration is studying a draft report on climate change.